Good morning. I'm gonna go, don't wanna call it shed hunting because I never find any, but I'm gonna go for a hike. Slept like garbage last night. Super, super windy, but hopefully the weather's just a little bit nicer where I'm going. We'll see. I haven't been to where I'm going since elk season. So, let's see if I can turn anything up. It's starting to rain, of course, which that doesn't bother me, but I'm not gonna be able to see very far with the spotting scope. Okay, I lied. It's not raining, it's snowing, but I'm gonna flip on my Onyx track app, get going. No sheds yet, but did find this guy. Pretty cool. Missing those teeth. But if I go back and dig in the dirt, I can find them. This is fun. <laughs> oh man. No sheds yet. Did find this little skull. I'm kind of embarrassed. I don't exactly know what it is, but keep motoring along. I don't know what else to do. Haven't found any sheds yet. Word on the street is I'm on the completely wrong side of the hill. <laughs> on the north facing slope. This is where I've seen the most tracks, but people are telling me that south facing slopes are typically where they shed. I guess I'll start working my way that way. It's snowing. Cold. I'm getting more snow now than I did in December when I actually wanted it. <laughs> most poop everywhere. Well, I'm pretty sure I glassed up a shed. And, of course, <laughs> I think it's a fork and horn. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I'm debating whether or not I want to go after it. It's a long ways away. I'll show you. It's up in there. So I think that's it. <laughs> I think it's just a tiny little fork. But... Or it's a stick. Oh man. This weather sucks. And a little tech tip. You can use your phone scope on selfie mode as a tripod. So I got it on my spot and scope and it's filming me. I'm gonna have some night before I go get this tiny little shed. <laughs> it's not the best of big ones for me. You know, it's just getting out here and <laughs> if it is a shed, <laughs> fingers crossed it's a shed. It's probably a stick. But I haven't seen a stick over there that looks like that yet. Glass it up and see the night going. Oh man, it's freezing cold. <laughs> oh gosh. Mmm, nom nom. Gotta go all the way down and all the way up for a tiny little fork. Maybe it'll be a surprise and like. It's a giant four point, but I'm not putting any money on it. <laughs> Just take some main trails down, maybe something drops something on one of these too, but I highly doubt it. Uh, get there on the other side and just hit that ridge on my way out and out. Go back home. No matter how much weightlifting you do, stair climb or cardio, there's only one way to get in shape for the mountain. And that's doing it. Oh. Yeah, just like that. You gotta get out and hike. This is a lot of work for probably the world's worst stick fake. I'm not convinced it's a shit. But I can cross my fingers, right? I keep saying it, but his Onyx app is so cool. I marked where I think is very close to the stick shed. Working my way towards it using Onyx and the track setting. Also, zigzagging looking for stuff on the way up. But mainly because I'm out of shape, I can't go straight up. So, cold. Okay, moment of truth. I think, yes, it's a shed. <laughs> nice. Did 
chalk. Soaking wet. Oh, I'm glad it's not a stick. <laughs> oh, old sucker. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures real quick. Didn't come home empty handed today. That's all that matters. Oh gosh. That was a lot of work for this little fella. But it's okay. I swear, one day, one day I'll show you guys maybe find a big shed but until then pick up a two point <laughs> it, they're getting bigger that's all that matters <laughs> oh gosh I'm excited I saw it from that far away but also not excited because I should have seen a bunch more if that's the case I will spot this little guy Keep motoring along. See if I can turn up. I'm gonna work my way out at home. So if I get on it anymore, I'll bring you guys along. But until then, probably nothing. Hey guys, uh, real quick, thanks for watching uh, this little shed hunting video. I know I don't, I don't find many of them, but I have fun, and that's all that matters really. Um, but real quick, you guys need to go check out uh, Alpine Innovations. Uh, that's their Instagram page. Um, their website is alpineproducts.com. And what they do, they have something called the Bino Bandit. Just like that. And then they have the Spot Bandit right here. So this one goes on your spot and scope. Obviously the Bino Bandit goes on your binos. What it does is it blocks out all that extra sunlight. And it makes looking through your spot and scope or your binos um, a lot less, there's a lot less strain on your eyes um, from the sun. So you can end up looking a lot longer uh, through your glass. So go check them out. They're pretty awesome. These things, like, they don't weigh anything and they're very affordable, uh, very well built. So go check them out. Thanks.